Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today our group will present uh, brain tumor segmentation using cash holding and morphological operation. Next slide. So first of all, this is our group member uh, which are uh, Nur Atla binti Abdul Halim, Fatin Nur Rashida binti Muhammad Raimi, uh, myself Muhammad Amir Shami bin Fazakfin and Ahmad Solahuddin Sodik bin Muhammad Yusuf. Next slide. So uh, this is introduction. Um, a tumor is a uh, abnormal growth of cells in our body, our body that serve no purpose and mass of abnormal cells in the brain. Brain tumor can be malignant and or or benign. These tumor are classified as either primary or secondary. Primary brain tumor can arise from brain cell, meaning just membrane the membrane that surround our brain, nerve cells and glands like the pituitary of the pineal. Secondary brain tumors can begin in a, another place of the body and spread to the, to the brain. The most common imaging test used for brain scans is a magnetic resonant imaging um, MRI scan. Next. Project significance. Um, powerful magnets, radio wave and a, com a computer are all used in the test technique known as MRI to create detailed image of the inside of our bodies. The technology is extremely significant in the medi medical community or among healthcare professionals. Uh, the doctor utilizes MRI to examine, examine the heart, blood vessel, breast, belly, pelvic region, spine, joint, and other body regions. MRI scans are effective it are efficient ways for diagnosing a range of coordination including malignancies and torn ligaments. The radi radiation utilized for an X-ray or compute tomography um, CT scan is not necessary for an MRI to function. These protons are subjected to ra uh, radio frequency energy, which cause them to generate signals that are detected by a receiver inside the scanner. The signals are computer processed uh, after being specific specially def defined utilizing the small the fast small details magne magnetic field next slide so this is um, the process um, but I will I will explain the methodology first um, the process begin with uh, an MRI brain scan, which is used as an input image. The image, the image enhancement has taken place by the pre-processing technique. We implement a thresholding segmentation method in the segmentation step to separate the tumor from the brain. The generated image uh, subjected to a morphological procedure based on this segmentation. This segmented, uh, the, this imaging is subtracted in identifying the exact location of the tumor. Several techniques have been used in this project to demonstrate the precise 
tumor size um, and location by adhering to the unique technique and methods that have been carried out step by step. Next, I will I'll pass this presentation to another group member. Okay, for the, uh, the first methodology, which is uh, <clears throat> MRI brain image, image, we use image acquisition, which is the section we created using a brain art. Uh, the image section is using a brain MRI scan. Uh, with very scale image, image serving as the input from zero, which is black, to 255 are the possible values for gray scale image, which is white. And for the next methodology, <clears throat> next we have a pre processing, which is in this phase, uh, we rise, we're raising the image quality. Uh, this step is suited, most suitable for processing letter. Here, we, we turn the RGB input image into a grayscale version. Uh, it, additionally, it consists of steps for image enhancing, contrast improvement, and image sharpening. For the next methodology is <coughs> uh, noise image processing per step is noise removal as a result the precise improvement of image quality is made during the processing step therefore the first step is to reduce the noise in the MRI image both linear and non-linear techniques can be used to reduce noise in linear filters a weight average of the neighborhood values is used to update the pixel value for noise reduction. The technique can lower the image quality. Additionally, although the final structures <coughs> are degraded in the non-linear method, the edges are preserved. In this project, a medium filter was used. A non-linear non filter like the medium filter are frequently used to reduce noise in image signals. <coughs> I'll be leave it to Ahmad Salihidin. Ahmad Salihidin to proceed. <coughs> For the uh, next methodology is threshold segmentation. Uh, segmentation entails dividing an image into areas corresponding to various objects. Uh, and the easiest way to segment an image is with a threshold. A uh, grayscale image can be transformed uh, into binary images using threshold. Intensity is the most basic characteristic that pixels within pixels can share. Such pixels can be naturally divided using a threshold which uh, separates light and dark pixels. Uh, threshold is used to convert grayscale images to binary images and determines how many zeros and ones are converted. Next. Okay, for uh, next methodology is feature extraction, with a, uh, which is morphological. The morphological operation uh, used for feature extraction, which involves finding pixels value 0 or 1 in the test and then extracting the location of the brain tumor within the input image if the test is successful. Uh, it basically requires the deletion and erosion process where deletion adds pixels to the boundaries of an object in an image and erosion removes pixels from an object's boundaries. Following this morphological procedure, an opening processing will be performed, making the extraction of the brain tumor easier. Next page. For the last process is tumor area calculation. The tumor area is calculated using the number of white crystals, uh, which is in the binary image, it is equal to zero. Uh, this calculation employs the binarization method. 
the the image captured here is a binary image which means it only has black and white pixels and has maximum size of 256 times 256. The black pixel has a value of 0 and the white pixel has a value of 1. Next page. Okay, next I will uh, show you the flow chart. So for the first one, uh, we start, we start, and then it goes with the input of MRI brain image. After that, uh, we go to the process, which is pre-processing stage. And if yes, we go to the two process, image enhancement and the noise removal. If no, it will go straight to the segmentation. Well, from the segmentation, uh, it, uh, it will go to the other process, which is, is morphological operation. And uh, the last one is the output, which is brain output. And yes, and, and okay. Next, I will pass to Fatin. Okay, so next is the usage of data. So basically, in our mini project, we use the data from the flare folder, which contain uh, 15 images of MRI brain image. Uh, so basically, this project used all these 15 images to obtain the segmented output. Uh, next, for the result and discussion, we choose uh, one of the image, which is image slice 080 for the MRI brain sample. Uh, in this image, we test using the trace hole value of 0 0.8. So basically, this is the segmented tumor that we gain from this image. Uh, this is the detected tumor. So based off this image, uh, the pixel below the trace hole value converted to black and pixels above the trace hole value are converted to white. Uh, we created the algorithm uh, on the segmentation part where the, the threshold algorithm is executed and the threshold value is based on the average of all intensity values is all set. Hence, for the pixel intensities, more than the threshold value are set as 1 and the ones less than the threshold value are set as a 0. And then for the detected tumor part, we applied the morphological operation uh, for locating the area of the tumor using dilation and also erosion process. Uh, we know that the morphological erosion removes any excess pixels from the boundaries of various regions while morphological dilation adds pixels to fields, any gaps and holes within the boundaries. So for the next image sample is the image sample from slice 082. In this image sample, we applied the trace hole value of 0 0.7. This is the segmented tumor of uh, output. This is the detected tumor. So basically, trace hole value of 0 0.7 be applied to test the intensity of this image. And it goes with the same process like previous image 2 which pixel below the threshold value converted to black and pixels above the threshold value are converted to white. As we can see on the detected tumor part, the dilation and erosion process used to identify the exact location of the tumor where we use the plotting point of the right marker to detect the exact location of the brain tumor itself. So we arrive at the conclusion. As a conclusion, we can see that medical image processing is now the most difficult and expanding field. One aspect of this field is the processing of MRI images, which this initiative makes MRI image analysis more accessible to those who do not need to be MRI image specialists. As a result, we can see that MRI imaging is less dangerous than X-ray imaging. Hence, it is less weakened by bones. This study also has the potential to accelerate and reduce the cost of MRI image processing and brain tumor segmentation. 
Next, we will proceed with the demonstration of our graphical user interface of brain tumor segmentation using press holding and also morphological operation. So basically, this is going to be our GUI. Our GUI contains few functional buttons that can be clicked, uh, hence produce specific output followed by the function and also structured coding that embedded into this GUI. Uh, in this GUI, we have the functional button of input image, median filtering, bounding box, tumor alone, tumor outline, and also the detected tumor. We also have the reset button for the user to reset. Image that uh, have been produced in all of these axes in this MATLAB figure. So let's try with the image from the image slice 080 from flare folder. So this is going to be our MRI brain image. Next, if you uh, enter to the median filtering button, it will produce the median filter image where in median filtering, it used to smoothening the MRI brain image next is the bounding box. The bounding box here uh, show the exact location that been squared into a box where it is the location of the tumor inside the brain image. And the next is the segmentation of tumor where inside the segmentation we apply the formula of stress holding. In this segmentation, we test with the value of 0.7. And next is tumor outline. Tumor outline is used to uh, outlining the area of the tumor. And next is the detected tumor. In the detected tumor, we apply the morphological operation of dilation and also erosion, where the exact location of the tumor is stated using the plotting point of red marker. So this is all the output. If you want to reset all of the image they can just click on this button reset button and yeah it can be proceed with another image thank you very much